Hello best friends, in this video I'll be showing you how to create your first color grade lot in Photoshop. By the end of this video, you should be able to grade an image and save the settings as a lot file to be able to use for similar images next time. Now what is a lot? A lot stands for lookup table and it's a tool used by photographers and filmmakers. Photographers use lots to correct colors, to grade image and helps to create work efficiency. Now let's observe this image. As you can see, it's looking quite yellowish and you can observe the face is slightly brighter than the body. But don't worry, we're going to correct all this. So first off, we want to start by fixing the brightness of the face. So we're going to use our cuff to do that. First off, we're going to select the face just like this. And then we're going to duplicate our layer. And then we're going to add some feathers like this. Now we're going to reduce the brightness of that face using curves just like this. As you can see, the before and the after. So now we're going to measure up and then we're going to go right into the retouching of this image. Now I'm going to put a link on the description to a video of how I use frequency separation to retouch my images. So I'll quickly do that and do my dodge and burn as well. So I'm also going to put a link on the description of my workflow action pack where I used to retouch my images so you can purchase and download and use for your image as well. So now we're done with the retouching. So right now we're going to create some adjustment layer so we can create our color grading file so to do that we'll go to adjustment layer and just you know adjust this picture that deep fits to our style so i'm going to start off with um, gradient map now gradient map is going to give me a a black and white solid color where it just you know fits in like this and i'm going to use it like that i'm going to use i'm going to change blending mode from normal to multiply this is quite important for dark images as they help to tone down the, the color. They help to tone down the, the brightness of the skin. You know, sometimes we use um, uh, too much light on our images. So I feel like the gradient map helps to tone down the, the exposure to a certain amount. So you can see the before and the after. So now I'm also going to use my selective color. Now I'm just going to work with my yellows right here. I want to make sure it doesn't look too yellowish like this. I want to pop this up just a little bit. I'm going to take yellow up just a little bit. And also I'm going to go to red. I also want to add a little bit of yellow on the red side. So the dress, you know, is going to pop a little bit. And now I'm just, I'm just going to go down to, um, you, you could actually do more here. Yeah? There's a lot of colors here. But with this image, I don't think there's blues and greens, so I wouldn't want to go down through all this, but you can do that depends on your image and your background. So now I'm going to use um, uh, another adjustment layer. I'm going to use color balance and just balance this image, you know, to my taste, you know, I just bring the yellows to the blue area just a little bit, just like that. So all these we're trying to create one file but we can actually use for multiple images or similar images next time. So after doing that, I'll be using levels. So now I'm going to pop up the brightness just a little bit more, just like that. And also blacks. So it gives me this a little bit contrasting image, which I kind of like, you know. So now you can see we just created four different adjustment layer. Next thing we're going to do is we're going to group this as one file and ctrl g to group it and you can see the before and the after yeah this made a lot of change on this image with just few adjustment layer so now what we want to do is make these layers a one file where we can use for similar image like this you know so we want to we want to create this as a a custom file so what we'll do after grouping the file we'll go up to file exports now exports lookup tables so now it's going to ask you for description you can just say my first load lot now i want to make sure our grid point is 100 and cube is selected here this other format works with other softwares photoshop works mainly with cube so this is 
clicked here and I'm just going to click OK. And now it's going to ask me where I want to save it. I'm going to save on my downloads. I'm just going to rename it as Dark Skin. I'll save. And it's going to take a few seconds. And as you can see, so now we want to make sure it's the same setting. So we're going to go up to color lookup and we're going to load this lot that we just created. And you can see it on our download folder is right here. We're just going to click and click open. You can observe that this whole group file has just turned into one file, just like this. So now we can easily drag this up to another similar image and just drop it. And here you go, you have similar custom lookup table. So congratulations, you have successfully created your first color grade lookup table. So I'm running a discount sale of my three different skin tone lot pack and also a bonus workflow retouching action, which was about $80 to $100, but I'm giving it for just $25. You can use the link on the description to take you to our purchase page. This discount sale is only for a limited time. So thanks guys for watching and I'll see you on the next video.